sometimes uh, mm -hmm. uh, when <laughs> it's our local ukulele expert. Hello. Hi, James. Hello. And thank you to the union for bringing down a barbecue for everybody to have. That was really nice. It's great to have some meat for once. You don't get much meat down here, so <laughs> it's always appreciated. Welcome to the cleanup day. Cleanup day. Yay! Yay! Cleanup day. And there's violinist. You. And there's Nat. No, Nate. Not. I took down three tents. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Well, as soon as I saw hockey sticks, I'm like, yes! <laughs> oh, go for it, man. I haven't played this I'm gonna try to see if I can fix the ball, too. Yeah, I know, you'll break it quick. I'm leaving! Ooh. I'm gonna try to block the shot. Serious, I would. Not when you shoot it, though. We Watch him, wait, would you watch him? Great. That's just what the doctor ordered right there. There's nothing like a good game, a little hockey to get the blood going and uh, get the stress out, get the tension out. I did, however, uh, destroy the ball. <laughs> I split the thing right in half and I ended up having to duct tape it. That's a pure Canadian thing right there, eh, boys? <laughs> I'm really glad somebody donated some hockey sticks. I'm gonna try to put a proposal together, try to have uh, game nights or something along those lines because that's something we've been lacking here is some uh, proper forms of entertainment and exercise and so on. Uh, I think exercise would be really important, good to get out the frustrations, and it's good to get the blood going, you know? Uh, but <laughs> uh, I should have stretched first or warmed up or something like that because my legs are just killing me. Uh, especially my knees. I haven't played hockey in a couple years. My knees are just like rubber right now. 
Uh, but uh, things are pretty much died down now. Everybody who came down to help clean up has pretty much gone home. I don't see much in regards to the grounds themselves being cleaned. I think this was more of just like a tent cleanup. As you can see here, the media tents are gone and uh, all the tents that were over there are gone and there's a bunch of tents over there that are gone now. Just uh, condensing. Oof. <laughs> Come here birdies. Come here. <laughs> I was getting frustrated and annoyed with things and I needed a way to, uh, you know, just get this stuff off my mind and no better way than to grab a hockey stick and just start shooting something. <sighs> but it's pretty much, things are pretty much died down now. Everybody's just having a relaxing time. There's a little discussion group going on right now in regards to how to handle police officers. Uh, I don't really want to be part of that discussion simply because I have, uh, let's see here, I have my own views and opinions on how to handle police and uh, there's people here who, you know, have a little bit more aggressive stances when it comes to them and that's a type of discussion usually gets pretty heated so anything interesting worth filming I'll film, if not we'll see you guys at home. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. Get a job you losers. The overwhelming majority of Nova Scotia does not support your you based on a CBC poll. It was like 90% against you and 10% for. This says it all. Now go get a job, you fucking idiots. It's right there. These are the types of people I get to deal with on a daily basis, not only here at home, online, but down at the square as well. It's just, I, I just, I love you people. I love you. People like that, in my eyes, are brainwashed, ignorant fucks. Sorry. But if you are going to come on an online post and say something like that, well, based on a recent CBC poll, yeah, because the media is always right, right? They don't, they never ever embellish polls or they never ever create results to get their views up and to get people on their side. No, that never happens, right? Pussies! Pussies! Ah, oh, sorry, I had a sneeze there. Um, 90% against. Pff, get the fuck out of here. Get a job, you fucking losers. Who the fuck are you? I'm telling people to. That's just pure ignorance right there. It's pure ignorance. If you even took the time to realize. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick for fighting for your rights. Excuse me. Um, if you even took the time to realize, it took the time to go down and actually talk to people. A lot of people realize that, you know, majority of the people down there have jobs, you mindless fuck. What's the matter with you? You think everybody down there is just a bunch of lo losers, fucking bums with no jobs and only trying to get the rich to give me money, give me money. You have all the money. I want all your money. You f Learn something. Sorry, folks, but I'm getting sick and tired of hearing this shit, and I'm gonna fucking say my what I feel and what I believe every single time. I know these people are trolls, and they're only trying to get me going, but. As of this point, I'm getting sick and fucking tired of you ignorant bastards coming down there and yelling at us for profanity, belittling us, being racist, and being fucking just... Oh, I don't even have the words for the type of people you are. You guys like how I got mad there? You like that? That's because I get to deal with that on a daily, hour-to-hour -hour basis. Whether I'm down there or sitting at home, on the forums, going through comments, going through interviews, going through uh, different television programs that talk about the movement, going through different articles in the newspaper that talk about the movement, going through different reports on radios that talk about the movement. And the, the, the mayor's office, the government, and the media right now are doing their damnedest to sway public opinion into the eyes that 
we're just a bunch of bums and low and lazy asses and only want uh, to get rich off of other people and so on and so forth. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. We're not fucking Robin Hood. We're there fighting for rights and uh, fuck it. I'm not even but no. <laughs> I don't even know what to talk about now because it's just like I'm going through the Facebook pages and I'm going through my emails and it's just like fuck you idiot, fuck you loser, get a job bum. It's so hard to escape. It's just, it's, it's frustrating, it's frustrating, it's stressful. It's hard to go down there every single day and know that you're going to be battered with these types of things. It's great every once in a while, you'll talk to somebody and they'll be like, Oh, you know, I, I was worried, I was questioning what the media was telling me, and so I wanted to come down and find out. So we, we talk to them, we have a discussion, so on and so forth, people start learning things. Grant you, there's different views and opinions upon what's wrong with the system, but everybody has a, everybody, to, for the base, understands what the problems are. Um, it may be a wide range of problems that there are, but the basis of it is still the same. And once people take the time to start learning for themselves and stop having fucking television telling them what to think, they, they start opening their eyes to the world around them and start realizing the type of bullshit that's around them. I mean, people don't realize it because they're too, they're too comfortable in their own little fucking lives to, to even see a problem to begin with. So when they see a bunch of people protesting about something that they don't understand, they immediately start assuming things, they immediately start belittling things, and they immediately start berating and, and being angry about it and fucking, oh, a bunch of bums and shit. The mayor of Califax came out the other day with a report saying that, that us protesters are costing the city $25,000 so far, which is absolutely asinine to begin with. Where where where'd you get that figure from? Is it because you need twenty five thousand dollars to replace the grass? Hell, motherfucker, give me a phone number to a landscaper. I guarantee you, I can do it for a hundred and fifty dollars, not thousands of dollars, twenty five thousand dollars. And he says it also has something has uh, in part to do with the power that we're using. Oh, really? The power? Really? City Hall, who leaves their fucking lights on all night long? every single day that's not a money waster that's not draining power from the city we're actually using the power for a reason anyway uh, I'm fucking <laughs> uh, um, anyway this is it's just muscle flexing from City Hall muscle flexing from from uh, the mayor and the media because they don't want people protesting against them so they're doing everything in their power to try to sway people to their side and unfortunately, like I just ranted and raved about, there are fucking morons who believe everything the goddamn television sa says to them. And don't even take the time to learn shit for themselves. <sighs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> stay strong, stay wise, folks. Peace.